my friends welcome back let's do another tarot reading shall we this is the fifth one and i've been doing one of these a week uh since i i shared our tarot episode uh with Brittany muller on uh, halloween and so i've been releasing these videos every wednesday and as i've been saying i i pull a tarot card every morning and sometimes they speak to me more than other mornings and so when they really speak to me, I'll just make a video about it, and then I share it uh, on Wednesdays. And so this is number five. There are four more Wednesdays through the end of the year, so I'm definitely going to release one every Wednesday through the end of the year, just because I feel like it's it's helpful for me. As I've said, this helps me process some very new material and kind of a new language, and just try to process and understand. And as I make these videos, as I blog and things like that, that's how I put pieces together and things make sense to me. So I'm doing this primarily for myself, as I've been saying and inviting all of you along for the ride. I don't know if they're going to continue after the new year, if I'm going to keep doing this every week or maybe once a month or every other week or not at all. I haven't really decided yet. There is no plan in place. If you have any thoughts, preferences, uh, if this is helpful for you, if it's not helpful for you, uh, let me know. Email me, whatifproject.net at gmail.com. You can also leave a uh, comment in the comment section. If you're just going to email like hate stuff and say like it's stupid and it's dumb, uh, just know that I'm going to match your tone <laughs> in my response. Uh, so if you if you have helpful feedback, you know, that you helpful critiques, that's fine. But uh, the haters who just come on to say you're stupid and I don't like this and you're a demon and I hate your beard, uh, I'll just match your tone right back at you <laughs> and then some <laughs> so anyway let's talk about tarot cards today this is the card i pulled right here this morning that's a scary card this is the death card and i have to admit that when i pulled this card uh my heart skipped a beat a tiny beat because this is never a fun thing right like i asked god god what do you want me to know today uh what what what's going on in my life that i'm i'm missing uh, that i'm not seeing if you could sit here with me, just like I do every morning, if you could sit here with me and have coffee with me and share something with me about my life that you want me to know or pay more attention to, what would it be? Death. <laughs> that can't be good. Uh, but anyway, this card is the most one of the most misunderstood cards uh, in the tarot deck. And I've done a lot of reading about this card because I wanted to make sure I had a general understanding of it. And I also spent some time just contemplating it and looking at it and there's so much symbolism in this card that we can't possibly cover it in like a six seven minute video uh, so i'm just going to share with you a couple things that jumped out at me okay so first of all this card does not mean that someone's going to die doesn't mean that you're going to die doesn't mean i'm going to die doesn't mean anything like that right because these cards like we said they don't predict the future it's not about telling you what's going to happen it's about shining a light on something already happening in your life that you need to pay attention to or maybe look at from a different angle. So right off the bat, what I see in this card is the guy who's riding the horse is a skeleton. Right? He looks like Skeletor if you ever watch T-Man. Uh, he's a skeleton and he's dressed in black and he's riding this horse and the horse is walking, right? The horse is moving. And in front of the horse is a priest and the priest is obviously looking up at the skeleton guy, we'll call him Skeletor, looking up at Skeletor uh, because he's up on the horse and the priest is down on the ground. In the background, you can see that there's the the sun there coming up in between those two, those two towers. And that's the stuff right off the bat that jumped out at me. Uh, along with that flag, it looks like ears of corn on the flag, some kind of harvest. And so here's the thing. The skeleton, Skeletor, obviously represents death right? But what is death? What is death really, right? Death is, is not more than, than transformation. I've been reading a lot of Thich Nhat Hanh, who was a Buddhist uh, monk. He talks about how death and birth are just an illusion, uh, because when something dies, it doesn't cease to exist. It just manifests into something else. Uh, you think of like the, think of a wave, right? A, a wave is just water, and a wave comes out of the ocean, and it manifests into this beautiful thing then it crashes against a rock and goes back into the thing from which it came, which is the water. It's still water. It's just not a wave. It's not a wave anymore. It's now manifesting into something, something different. And so death 
is really just an illusion and death is just transformation, right? The wave transforming back into water. So I think the skeleton guy for me represents transformation. It represents newness. It represents something something new that's going to be happening. And the priest in front of the horse represents tradition, right? Uh, whatever kind of tradition means for you. For me, right, tradition is a loaded word. It refers to church stuff, <laughs> theology, doctrines, ideas about God and life and the Bible and all of these things. Now, here's the interesting thing. The skeleton guy is up on the horse. The priest is down here. Uh, the transformation is elevated above the tradition, right? Transformation is elevated above the tradition. And this reminds me of something I had read the other day in, in, in one of my books and uh, just kind of in my own meditation time, something that came to my mind is that we, we, we want to honor tradition, right? We want to honor tradition, but not at the expense of dishonoring ourselves and our own transformation. Oh, it was a tarot card the other day that I had shared. Uh, we, we want to honor tradition. We want to honor the places from which we came, the things that we uh, understand, have understood about God and faith and the Bible and Jesus and theology and all the things. But we don't want to honor that at the expense of dishonoring the transformation that's taking place in ourselves. And then rising above in the background is the sun, right? Now, is the sun rising or is the sun setting? I don't know. But perhaps the sun is setting on some old traditions that no longer fit in our life. Or maybe the sun is rising on some sort of transformation that's taking place in our lives. But the question that this card leaves me with and left me with, maybe it will leave you with as well, is what, what tradition, what thing about God, about faith, about the Bible, what tradition am I holding on to that really doesn't have room my, my life does it doesn't fit in my life anymore what's the what, what is that for me what is the thing i have to let go so that i can more fully embrace the transformation that's happening within me so i can sit on the horse and keep walking past that tradition and into the new thing that is happening in my life and that brings up a whole lot of a whole lot of thoughts right because there's a lot of traditions that are very meaningful for me and have been very meaningful for me, but don't really fit in my life anymore. Uh, one of the biggest things that I've talked about recently is the theology of the atonement, right? This idea uh, that Jesus died in order to make us one with God. There was some kind of disconnection between us and God. And the atonement, Jesus' death, his at one makes us at one with God again. And there's all different theories of atonement that are out there, right? All different theories. There's like, I think there's five or six different main theories of atonement. What the cross means and how it made us one with God. Everything from God was really mad, but he saw Jesus' death and we believe in him. And now all of a sudden we're at one with God again. There's also this idea that... Uh, Jesus' death was a ransom that bought us back from the devil. Uh, but his, his death did something in order to make us one with God. That was a tradition that was really important for me. But I feel like I have an inner transformation happening where that doesn't fit in my life anymore. I don't care about the atonement. The atonement, I don't think there's a need for the atonement. I think the atonement is just a made-up theology. Because was there ever a time when we were not at one with God? Right? It says in Genesis, in the, in the Bible, it says that we are made in the image of God. If I'm made in God's image, if I'm made up of the very image, the very substance of God, if the breath of God has breathed into me and that's what gives me life, how can I be separate from God? It doesn't make any sense, right? And so I don't, I don't need that in my life anymore. That was a tradition that was important to me. But I feel like I'm transforming beyond that place. The sun is setting on that tradition. The sun is rising on something new. Uh, what do I believe about the cross? It's an evolving idea. It's an evolving thought. I've written about it in many places. This isn't the place for it. But I'm evolving. I'm changing. I'm transforming beyond that place. And so again, what is it for you? What is the tradition in your life, in your faith? I'm talking specifically about faith. 
this might bring up something different for you, but faith-wise, what is the tradition in your faith that doesn't fit in your life anymore? And where are you? what are you transforming into? What are you changing into? What are you evolving? What is the sun setting on? What is the sun rising upon? Uh, and as the flag says, the harvest is here, right? It's time to pick the crops, the transformed crops. It's time to pick and to feast on something new. The death card, my friends. Not that bad of a card. It's actually pretty cool. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.